I get people want to protect the children. I, I get that. But if your son or daughter is trans or is exhibiting trans behavior that is between you and your doctor, why the hell do you want the government? It's between you and your doctor. Go ahead. Give me a little more information of where I should stand on this uh, fight here. I'm not crossing the line right now for education in the schools or anything like that. All I'm saying is no government policies. I just want the parent, the kid, and the doctor coming up with what's best for the kid. I think I get behind that. And I feel like it should. That's what it, that, everything should be that way. If you're gay, if you're straight, if you're black, if you're white, if whatever, it's like, just be that. You don't have to like, not everything has to be so in your face. Like, just be that person and people will accept you. But when you ram it down people's throat, they say this, I don't want that. I didn't ask for that. I'm not trying to discriminate against you, but when you force it on me, I, 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 I feel this necessary need to push back. Well, everybody's also terrified, oh, giving an, an uh, underage kid hormones and stuff. But if you're talking with your doctor and your kid and your doctor and you are like, hey, we're sure that this kid like really feels this way. Then and if the doctor suggests that that's the best route, then that's the best route. Who knows better than the doctor? I understand. I understand that. But I do think that there should be some sort of, I don't even want to call it rule, law, protocol, safety, where it's like, wait until they're 18 to start messing with their hormones. Because once you start messing with a kid's hormones, you can't take that back. You can't just, oh, I understand my seven-year-old is telling me this, but wait until they're 18. Let them wear whatever they want. Wear whatever you want. Feel however you want. But let your body fully develop, and then put, you can in, put whatever hormones you want in when you can f actually make that decision. Are you a doctor? No, no. But Why? Like I play you don't know better than the doctor. So if the if listen, if they're sure, just so you know, less than one percent of kids who actually start hormones regret it. So obviously, it's it's working. Uh, and they're not misdiagnosing a bunch of kids. There's no but, way that's true. Oh, that's 100% true statistic. It's not saying that people who aren't curious don't get out of it. It's saying once the people who do start hormones, less than 1% regret it. It's parent, kid, and doctor. Nobody else should be involved in the conversation. I, but how can you trust, like... Get multiple opinions of the doctor. It's not the doctor that I'm worried about. It's the kid that I'm worried about. I'm not worried about the doctor. I don't care what the doctor has to say. It's more of what the kid has to say. Oh, my God. I couldn't imagine, like, your kid comes home and is telling you this because... Let's just say because he or she is he is that that's like the trendy thing to do right now. That is that is the trendy thing to do right now to be trans to be whatever you want. You know that is the trendy thing. So if they came home and said that and kept saying it and kept saying it, and it's like, all right, I I guess we'll talk to a doctor. And then they and then it's like two years later, it's like oh no, now I'm into skateboarding, but now I have these tits. Yeah, but how bad of a doctor and a parent do you have to be to not be able to see through the fact that they're doing it because they're trendy? But like you're saying that, but you, dude, it's a kid. If you're talking about a fourteen year old kid, you really think they're gonna pull one over on you just to do the trendy thing and get hormone? It that's not that's not happening. But that's, that's the not, thing is like a fourteen year old kid. Like you were like you like what I did fourteen at fourteen. Like I would never do now. So it's like. I don't know if I can trust that person's input. Like yeah, I would, be, 14, I would have I, to wait until they're eighteen. Everything, your schooling's done. You're pretty much an adult now. What do you want to do now? The thing is, the doctors have been proving that they are they are sure about the ones that do get hormones. Like you, you find out you're sure, and it's a big difference between get administering hormones at eighteen and administering hormones at fourteen. I, if if the data showed that everybody was regretting getting hormones, then I'd be like, yeah, don't give it to them when they're young. But because it's one percent that are 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 switching back, not switching back over, but regretting their decision, it's. I mean, it the the right medical thing to do is is to give them hormones in, in that situation doctor parent kid nothing else Ugh, I we're gonna put a law no. we're gonna put a law saying hey doctors doing all the medical research you're you're we're, we're outlawing what you're suggesting that's in that's insane i don't think laws need to get into it i just stand by like let that kid fully get to an adult and make that decision because if that you could do irreparable damage and it's like yeah, because I trusted what my 10-year-old said. It's You also you do irreparable damage the other way. And I think m most most of the time when you're getting to the point of administering hormones, the, the kid at that point knows what they're doing. And guess what? If they don't know what they're doing, 
you have a doctor you have the smartest person in the room or anywhere near you making the decision helping make make the decision and you have you the parent who should know your kid the best you're making it seem like these kids can just pull one over i i used to tell my parents i didn't like girls guess what they knew that i was lying you sure about that i mean i i mean oh, it's just uh, next subject